let's go going to start off making a document at 600 by 600 resolution at 72 but you can use anything you want to and this is really important to uh, you want a black background it works best on a, back, uh, a black background so make a new layer down here layer number one You want this tool, elliptical marquee tool. My mouse is playing up a bit as well. My uh, my left mouse button don't don't work all the time. So if it looks like I'm messing up, that's why. Look, it's messing up already. I can't even draw a circle. Right, you want to draw out a. Uh, oval shape kind of like this one come down to your set foreground colour we want a greyish colour a bit like that colour code is 717171 71 71. click ok get your paint bucket tool and fill it up right I'm going to use a shortcut key to deselect this now no I don't want to deselect it yet I want to click back on the elliptical marquee tool this way we can move the dotted lines with arrow, arrow keys so we want to move it up still on the same layer we want to move it up and come up to select transform selection holding your shift key you see these little arrows come that mean we can move it in a bit like this both sides so it's like that press enter and we can still move it with arrow keys to get it like in center and then we're on layer one highlighted we want to press backspace it'll delete that now hold down control or command if you're on a Mac and press D that'll deselect it right we've got this make a new layer come over to your rectangular marquee tool just draw out a rectangle a bit like that come to your paint bucket tool white fill it with white hold down control press D to deselect come to your move tool and make sure you click show transform controls at the top here put a check mark in it this will bring these like lines around it so we, we can transform it turn it move it into place once you got it in in the place where you want it press enter filter blur guzzy and blur uh, I've got mine set on 7.8 that, that's alright for what I want it for so just mess about with, with this slider to see how you want it press ok come over to your layers window I, I use shortcut keys for this. I hold down control and and you see my mouse cursor. It's got this little square at the side. It means means we can select. My mouse is playing up. We can select the dotted lines by holding control and pressing your left mouse button. But there's another way of doing it. You can highlight the layer you want the dotted lines around. Come over to select, load selection click OK it'll do the same thing now highlight layer 2 hold down control and shift at the same time and press the letter I this will invert the selection make sure you're highlighted on layer 2 now and press backspace 
see what happened it got rid of what we don't need so hold down control and press D now to deselect again now we can make a new layer come down to layer 1 in your layers palette hold down control click in the little window to select it or do it the other way load selection like that right what we want to do now we want to get his gradient tool and up here in top left corner of photoshop you see this gradient window click this and then your gradient editor will pop up you want this one here so it's color to tran uh, foreground to transparent that one. click ok once you've got that make a new layer above all other layers and then just click and drag a bit of white like that now we can control and D to deselect click on your move tool we'll move this layer away from that edge a little bit get your dotted lines around uh, layer 1 making sure you're on layer 4 hold down control and shift and press letter I to, uh, to invert selection then press backspace hold down control and press D to deselect on layer 4 we want to make a, a layer mask so we just click click this little square with circle in it at the bottom of your layers window and make a layer mask this is really important you need to click in your layer mask so we've activated it I want to come to his gradient tool again uh, your foreground colour should be set as black and then we'll just want to click and drag to get it away from that's kind of ok we could have done it a lot uh, a couple of different ways really but it's still simple make a new layer layer number 5 come down to layer 1 hold down control left mouse click to get your dotted lines making sure you're on layer 5 gradient tool we want your foreground colour set to black and then we want to click and drag round here like this click on your rectangular marquee tool move up with your arrow keys move it to your right a bit so it looks like it's still going round it then we can click uh, press backspace to get rid of that hold down control press D come to your opacity in your layers window and just change your opacity a little bit right now we've got all this <coughs> in your layers window hold down control and click on layer 2, layer 3, layer 4 and layer 5 still with your finger on control press the letter E this will merge all them layers together leaving layer 1 not merged with layer 5 you can double click and call these layers whatever you want to I'll just leave it like that because I'm a messy worker hold down control no, making sure you're on layer 5 or the layer above your main layer underneath no, them layers layer 5 hold down control and press J letter J uh, that's the shortcut